Going. Okay, let's go. Hello, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Karen. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Tom. Happy 2021. Hopefully, everybody's still doing well after the new year. Happy I'll new year to everyone. I'll fight for space. I'm fighting. Hi, Debbie. Oh, no. How can we not? Hi, Diane. Hi, Hi Beverly. Hi, Patsy. I Linda. Like to fight. Ellen. <laughs> it's no fun. No. Unless you're Kathy. just really in the mood. Are you ever just in a mood you feel like you, you have, have to Hi, Cheryl. Fight? No. Really? Hi, Polly. Yeah. Dorothy. Robert spoils my bad moods. Hi, Cindy. Oh, he's no fun. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Hi, Mary. I Charlotte. Can spoil Steve's good moods. <laughs> Hopefully everyone had a great new year and we're going to kick new off. Year, everyone. Happy new year. Oh, we got fun stuff to do. We do. Lots of fun. That's right. A lot of changes here at the shop and getting more fabrics and Yes, we got more fabrics. More now. ideas and Yes, we got more fabrics. Hi Nancy, <laughs> hi Amber. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with her. Fabric is like woohoo. No. She rain. hasn't. What? Hi Barbara. Hi, Linda. They don't like me. They want Marilyn. Everybody wants Marilyn. I know. Oh, that's the I bare can't. wall space back there is for new fabrics. So we're clearing out the spots I've to fill I've been them. working hard today on that, seeking out real estate. <laughs> Hi, Miranda. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Yeah, we may have another really big into bolt sale if we can't clear up enough space. I ordered a lot of fabric. It's coming in. So a couple of new basics collections. So those will be good. Hello, Instagram followers. They go good with everything. So if you're trying to clear out your stash, which I have a show and tell for you. It's a not, show and tell. It's not a real show and tell. Hi, so Corinne. It's going to be a full show and Teresa. tell. Teresa. Yeah, it will. So like a lot of you, we've been doing house projects. And so I've decided that I'm going to put carpet in my sewing area. And because it's kind of cold, it's in the basement, and you know, there's a boiler room, it's kind of scary. Yeah, it's I not really. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. I always think of snakes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, now I have a new thing to think about. <laughs> so, who we are this is Quilters HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, and Sewing Machines Express in Springfield, Missouri. Windmill Sewing Center and Quilters HQ are in Overland Park, Kansas. We do this every Tuesday at 6 o'clock to 7-ish, depending on how much content we have. Mm -hmm. But um, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it when you like and share. Hi, Carol. Um, tonight Hi, Mrs. Cranford. We're going to continue on uh, week 7 of our block of the week, and we have a fabric sale. Brand new fabrics, not into bolt stuff. So um, what are we doing for a discount, Robert? 20% today. 20% off. We should and do, they're beautiful. We should do 21%. Ooh, I know. Let's do 21. Listen. Oh, Patsy taking down the wallpaper. Ooh, that is a chore right there. That's so, a chore. So anyway, while I'm cleaning Hi, out Coral. stuff to move it to, um, you know, make my sewing area a little more habitable, I found this really... <laughs> awesome panel <laughs> so like I said I have the boiler room and it's all concrete and it's really cold and it blows cold air it's a louver door and so I found this panel and you'll have to get all of it in it and it's pretty old but sometimes when you're cleaning you find treasure and so this is going to cover up the it's just going to pin to the door and cover up the louver portion of that door so just a little wall hanging and in the shop I found this fabulous this is Caribbean cream really <laughs> um, this is a fabric we have this is one of the new basics collections that we're stocking in the store to kind of make it a little bit wider to cover up all of that door so hopefully when I get this finished I'll be able to bring it in and show it to you, and it'll keep me warm and some of that cold air in the boiler room. 
the boiler room. The boiler room. That just sounds crazy. <laughs> There's no boiler in there. It's just the <laughs> furnace and the, hot I don't know. Heater. Yeah, the hot water heater's in there. Hi, Charlotte. Radon hi, system. Hi, John. You know, all of that stuff. Hi, Joan. Sorry. The guts Nobody. of the house. Sorry. The guts of the house hi, is Janice. in my room. Sharing my sewing area. So... That's what I'm working on. Well, so. what projects are you guys working on out there to Post, start off your new year in your sewing rooms? Post some pictures. And if you're working on this, post some pictures of that. We'd love to see what you're doing. There are a lot of people working on it. Looks like a lot of people finished yeah, their we blocks a, and they're ready. A lot of people download. So, yeah, Corinne, you need to post yours. I know you have them up on a wall because you sent me a picture of them. So you need to post them so everybody can see them. So week seven, we're skipping a little bit ahead because I didn't have the fabric for... I have to place an order with uh, Paintbrush Studios because that's what we're using for fabric. So um, week seven is out there. I told you I would have the sashing for you because you can use your scraps of this for sashing. And I'll have that up later tonight. So, um, week six or seven is a pinwheel. Hi, Carol. Super, super easy. And it is die number three from the AccuQuilt nine inch cube. So, it's a really big, you can't really see it well, but it's that one. You need four, you know, you know it's that, that one. one. Die you number three. <laughs> If you want to download to today's block or any of the block of the weeks, Chloe has a link on the top of yeah. quiltershq.com right up there. Or you can do a search for sew along and all of the patterns will come up. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> if you're just if you're new Watching the videos, going, what are we doing? We're doing the block of the week. There's yep. 42 of them, I believe, and this is block seven. Yes. So. Week seven. Minus one. <laughs> Minus one. And it's a quilt that I designed early on in my sewing career. And, well, I didn't. I don't really call it a career because I, you know, way back then, I did do that for a living. But um, my sewing adventure, that's a good word for it. So... Did Learn as you go. It was a learn as you go. It was before YouTube. YouTube is. Did we get any of the nine inches in? Um, we did, didn't we? Have we received the uh, order? No, we so did not. So Leslie was in, said we were out. So I think we did get an AccuQuilt order, but um, we'll check on that for you, Leslie. No, I think we got the confirmation from AccuQuilt yesterday or Friday. So we're just waiting for order. our shipment. So it should be in this week. Perfect. So, and the code you would use if you want to order from us online to get the discount is QHQACC, and that will automatically apply to any AccuQuilt products in your cart. Okay, so let's get started. This is block, die number three. Hi, Marsha. There are two sh two shapes. There's um, it's half square triangles. There's two on the die. We need four of each. So I'm just going to slide right over here and cut those out. And so I'm going to conserve some of this fabric. I'm just going to fold it over like that. I have my salvage on so I know which direction this needs to go through the die. And I'm just peeling back a little bit to make sure that the salvage is not going to be part of my quilt moving forward. Or I would recut it. I'll move my coffee. So people were asking what that little circle quilt is up above your head. That's a project that we did in the AccuQuilt Go Club. So and there you can see it up there. It's been several months ago. So it was last year? Mm -hmm. Like no like Early in the year. Early in the year. I think it was still cold outside. It's like January or February or something like that. Pretty cool project. It was a very cool project. So there's the four of those. 
So the nine inch won't go in the Go Baby, right? Yes, it will. Oh, it will. It will. All right, Patsy, you're good on the Go Baby with a nine inch. All the way up until you get to the uh, 10 and 12 inch dies is when you need the regular size Go. And this one. Hi, Jody. And you want to slide these mats off because they create static and your pieces will stick to it. Now they could have layered those two, could they? Um, no, because you can only cut six layers and this would be eight. Mm -hmm. So one at a time. Save your scraps. You can do something else with them. And there, this block is cut out. It's going to be done in a nanosecond. It is going to be done super quick. That's a quilting second. That's a quilting second. Nano? That's a new term, quilting second. Do you have my doohickey? Is it in there? The multi-finger pressure tool. Nope, that's not the actual. <laughs> multi-function finger. HQ doohickey. The doohickey. There we go. Everybody needs this tool in their quilting toolbox. So I'm sewing on the Elma. This is the 9, or no, I'm sorry, 720 Pro. 920 is embroidery. And I've got my single hole plate on. I'm just going to hold my top thread while I start. And all of these get sewed together really quick. Elna is made by Janome. Did you all know that? I think I got an email from them. They're celebrating 100 years this year. They are. It's the 100 year anniversary. It's pretty cool. Are we what? Are they going to have a centennial edition? I don't know. Hi, Karen. Make it mine, doohickey. That's the way you get one shipped to you. Oh, I should have talked about that, how you uh, claim things. We'll go over that in a minute. I always make mistakes when I try to talk and sew, but I can sing along to, you know, Pandora at home. But Robert is always laughing at me because I'm just in there, you know, having a good old time. You're sewer sizing instead of jazzer sizing. <laughs> yeah. There's a new one too. New terms. We're just making stuff up tonight. It's a new year, why not? And cut these. And then where there. Hi Jerry. So this tool is handy because it keeps you from having to walk to the iron and board ironing and that sounded a little bit country and you can just kind of finger press that with the edge of this it has multiple uses this can be used as a stylus this to mark but I'm gonna wait until this is all put together to sew at the end and I'm pressing all of my seams towards the dark side <laughs> <laughs> yes, it always reminds me of Star Wars. So this is 2B, not 2A? No, no, this is 2E. 2E. So I jumped forward to a fabric that I knew we had in stock because <laughs> I'm waiting for a Paintbrush Studios order, enough to put together. And I do have enough, so we'll be ordering it real soon. Hello, so, RK. This goes together. I always have to look at these. If I don't have my pattern out in front of me, I will mess this up. Pinwheels always kind of throw me off. And there are certain shapes, I think, that each person has that kind of... They struggle with that shape. Maybe. I think it is. Okay. So I've got the layout. Just gonna flip this over like this. Make sure my seam right here is nested because I want Hi, that, Tracy. I want that point to be really sharp and not cut off. 
So that looks good. So I'm just going to sew this. And then bring this one over and sew it the same way. Making sure those seams are nested. I'm actually going to flip this up this way because I like to start with the seam. And if you're missing uh, missing any part of this, they'll be um, up on YouTube as well. So. Yep, we have our own channel. We have a few videos up there. Yeah, a few. One of them, this scrap quilt that we did. This People seem to like that one. Right yeah. Okay. I'm going to press this this way. We're really shooting to get to at least 1,500 subscribers here shortly. So. Yep. so if you haven't already gone out, go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel. So we post, we, uh, Chloe works her magic and creates videos of how-tos from some of the things that we show you here. So you don't have to search on Facebook. It's a little easier to find in YouTube. And so both of my seams are going the opposite direction. So this one's all both of them are pressed towards the black. And so I'm just going to fold this over on the top. Hi, Carrie. And then just sew it. And so one of the things when you're sewing these points like this, so one of the things when I'm sewing, even though it's a quarter of an inch and I try to do a really good job, I'm going to aim for this intersection with my needle so that I know when I open this up, I'm going to have a really sharp point on it. What's an easy way to do that, to aim for that? I don't know. Just kind of when you, when you get to that, slow down. And you can just kind of steer a little bit. So sometimes when we're doing multiple layers like this, they tend to not shift, but the bulk makes mm -hmm. it a little bit harder to get that through and be right up against the quarter inch guide. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Jackie. Right there. Welcome. And then let's just take this over to the iron and press it up. And I'm not going to press it open, so this will probably be quilted here, and we really don't have to worry about it. Hi, Angie. Welcome. <laughs> so we make it through bulky seams just fine. I'm going to do a little bit of steam to that center. Oops. I should have let the air you out spray of the water out of it. I did not spray the water out of it. So water accumulates in this hose. You just got to give it a quick. And that leaves a little. Before you start. Yeah. So it's called dry steam. Mm -hmm. And there it is. Week seven. Block. Wow. That's a quick one. 2E. Hello, serial quilter. <laughs> That's our Instagram <laughs> handle. <laughs> That's an awesome Instagram handle. It is. Okay, so shopping with us. So um, on all of the websites, quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and um, qhq and the number two.com, there's a place to register for Make It So. And you can put in your information. If you purchase something from us that gives us your email address, we will email you a invoice. That has a clickable button and you can just pay there and you can either say um, when you claim it you say make it mine whatever the product is and ship or pick up so if you're local you can pick it up in the store if you're not we'll ship it to you and um, then once we get payment we'll ship it or you can pick it up or you can come in the store and pay too so sure either way so we're doing 21% off tonight. We got some new fabrics. They look like K Facet, but they're not. They're 
I'll have to look at the boat. I don't remember her name. It's a designer. They're Moda fabrics. So, a lot of fun. Woohoo! Post your picture. Block number seven. Block number seven. I want to see what you're doing. Nice. So, especially if you're using different fabrics, because I love it when you take a pattern and make it your own. That's just amazing. Oh, you have a box opening, too. We do have a box opening. We got new stuff. New stuff. Perfect. Okay. Where are we off to? What are we doing? Oh, we have the color of the month. Do you want to talk about the color? Or are you oh, color of the month. We went out on a limb looking for just the perfect color for January. And I thought it would be cool with the new year starting off fresh to do natural white. It's clean, it's fresh, it's airy. Oh, this is thread. <laughs> it's our fill. It's 100% cotton. And the number is 2021 oh. Natural White. 2021. Yeah. Isn't that cool? All right. 20, that was a coincidence. Yes, it was. We didn't catch that yesterday. I just, natural White. Just picked that up. So, so that's our color of the month. Color of the month is how much off? 20, 15. 15% yes. unless you're part of the RFL Thread Club, then it's 20. So someone asked, how do they post pictures? Where do they send the pictures to? On Facebook. They can post them directly on our page, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you're not Does a it have to be Facebook? in that private group? No, no they can okay. post directly to our page. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Just um, so if they're not a Facebook user, can they send them in somewhere? Absolutely. They could send it send it to support at quiltershq.com and we'll get it posted we'll for post you. We'll post them for everybody to see. Be sure so. and include your name so we can give you credit for yeah, it. Absolutely. So we'll get those posted. Love okay. it. Okay. All right. Where are we off to? Let's do the box open. Okay. Let's do it. Because I haven't seen it yet either. I kind of want to know. Yeah. I'm excited. I do. I am too. I know kind of what it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. Come on, let's do sports. You're talking to yourself. So you know that, right? Talking to <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> now for box openings, you need a cutter. Cut carefully. You do. <laughs> if not, you can buy a first aid kit from us on our website with a quilting pattern on it for your sewing room. Mm -hmm. I might do that one too as a hey, sew along. I think so. Okay, pull on some of these boxes. You never know. The ladies have told me, be careful, don't cut the fabric. Ooh, it is Kimberbell. Oh, Kimberbell Basics. Very pretty. I love that coral color. And tomorrow. That's a different pattern. It is a different pattern. Can you see that? Is that coming through okay? Mm -hmm. too far. We haven't had this one, have we? No, these are all new. These are not restock. These are new colors. Pokey dots. That is a cool color. That's a beautiful color. Grape slushy. Grape ape. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Remember Grape Ape, Laugh oh, Olympics. I love those yep. Hashtag Prince. I do too. Yellow dots. Lalo. Lalo dots. Yeah, depending on your age. <laughs> For all the young ones. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Nope, Beautiful. Okay. And that's a duplicate. We're on to box two. I like it. There was no bill in there. <laughs> oh, there's probably another one. Okay. Don't they put the bill in box number one? Yeah. Uh, they left it out this time. Yay. Doubtful. They didn't. They don't know. There's, yeah, there's the bill. <laughs> That's bad. 
that's a pretty yellow. All right, we got a yellow here. Ooh. Comment if you're liking the Kimber Bell Basics coming out. And if your creativity gets inspired, what could you make with those? I know what they can make. What? Bench buddies. Bench buddies. Oh, bench buddies. Bench buddies. Well, we know Susan's going to be buying some of it already. You don't see lots of stripies very often. Mm -hmm. oh, this one's kind of got that snow white, almost a lumen glow in the dark or something. Mm -hmm. That's what the UPS man said. <laughs> you guys get heavy stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, we do. We have a different UPS man, don't we? I don't know. It seems like a different UPS man. They're here, and then they're gone quite quickly. Yeah. I Ooh, think it's because they don't that. that oh, we that already saw so that one. Cool. All right, so we got green with white dots. Green with white dots, number two. <laughs> and this one that they were really liking. I do believe I they're making some too. projects in Springfield. It just looks really bright. There's a Kimberbell project going on in every store. Seems like. I'm going to leave it out find a mate. I Maybe not. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Oh, I like that one too. Mm hmm. Very cool. Tumbling blocks. Mm -hmm. And we saw that one. We already. saw dots. So. We saw dots. Moving on. <laughs> Last Handy box. dandy tool. Got lots of new YouTube people on. Hi, Great. new YouTube people. Welcome, YouTube people. We're opening Kimber Bell Basics Fabrics. Woohoo! Oh, new Ooh, there we go. Uh -huh. yep, if you haven't one. seen these, you're getting a first look. First B. That one's pretty cool. If you like dots. I like what well, can you make with that, ladies? Got ideas? I always Our quilting community out there definitely has ideas, I'm sure. Jennifer said the grape floral would make a cute dolly diaper bag. Ooh, there you go. Every time I see these stripes, I think of pillowcases. <laughs> you, are, you do like the pillowcases. Marilyn does table runners, and you do pillowcases. That one's... I like that. Oh, I do too. The black. I like that a lot. And, that and that's the box. That's it. Woo! That's work. I feel that like I fast. worked. <laughs> that Woo. Now you get a box half of them up to. Got to take them with me. Travel tomorrow. Wow. Yep, those will be available in the in the. Squilters HQ and in Springfield. Yeah. We got a couple questions to catch okay, up on. Okay, a couple here. questions. Okay. Fire away. Let's see. And then we'll start fabric sale. Yes. And we have a giveaway. How do they register for the giveaway? You have to comment here. How easy is that? So all you have to do is comment and your name gets entered for mm -hmm. whatever we give away tonight. And if you were paying attention, you saw it. Yeah, it was actually out. Was December the last month for the Farm Girl Block of the Month? Question. Yes. So we're out of seats? We're for the Farm Girl Vintage. Oh, farm. I've got um, one more month to send to send out. And then we're going to be cutting the... Uh, there's two borders on that one. So there's a border with the background fabric, and then there's a colored border. And so I will be cutting the um, background binding, the color binding, and or the binding, binding, 
<laughs> binding, binding, banding, whatever it is. It's a B word. It's um, border. I don't know where my words go sometimes. They just leave, take a vacation. It's live. Yeah. So the um, background and the colored borders and the binding, and we'll be shipping those out probably, well, this month. So look for those. And then that's the end of that project. What's the number of the silver that you use, the Aerofill? 2615. 2615 on the Aerofill. We are out of it, but I've already ordered it, so it's already on its way. So we should get that this week, too. Do we have the quarter-inch seam guides, the magnetics, back in stock? We do have those back in stock. Okay. Very handy tool. I use it all the time at home. I think that's good. I like that oh, seam Sherry. guide because it... Thank so you. sometimes the, the little thin metal part, if you don't cut exactly straight, especially if you're using AccuQuilt, so sometimes you don't get the block quite, the fabric on quite straight. So if there's little threads, those uh, seam guides on the press or feet will catch those and start pulling your fabric. So that's not quite as much fun. Hi, Doris. Welcome. Hi, Joan. Welcome. Hi, Joan. Um, someone needs to come up with a safety tip, I see. Okay. Hi, Bonnie. Safety tip. We'll think on that. Safety tip. Marilyn chip. says to ask you about black ice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you fall? No. She... Close. I did the splits. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ow. Oh, I need to come around to you. Yeah. <laughs> Are we ready to do the... Gonna She's going to tell her story of her camera. around here and... Thanks, Marilyn. <laughs> Sharing your awkward moments. Uh, yes, That's what definitely. sisters are for. That's true. Absolutely. So I'm going to preface this with I just found out that I'm low on vitamin D and critical levels, and I'm low on B12, which tends to lean towards more tendencies for broken bones and so on and so forth. And I have osteoporosis. Aren't you happy to know all those things? So I got out of my car this morning in our back parking lot, and I'm walking, and part of the pavement is black. And I took a step and started to do splits and kind of hyper-extended my right leg. I didn't fall completely, but yeah. And I didn't have a whole lot of stuff I was carrying, and that was good, or it might have been all over the place. But I survived it, and I've done well. So I think we've all done that at least once. Oh, it's not fun. It's <laughs> not fun to step on it. It's not no. fun to drive on it. You just never know. Yeah. My brother fell years ago and hurt his back, mm -hmm. so you just can't tell. Mm -mm. Not just, at all. Yeah. So that's my be careful. There's the safety tip. Be careful after we've had an ice storm and you're on the shady side of a building because that's going to be the it's real bandit. Place, yeah. We had a semi in our backyard. Not that was quite. a Saturday, Saturday night. Yeah, really? You didn't have a trailer, backyard. but you kind of wow. split off. Got stuck. Yeah, that's scary. Very scary. Uh, somebody was asking, did we get the Airfill Basic Green in from last month yet? It is shipped. So, Ellen, all right, we got a so, ship confo on that one. It has been on back order, and so oh, it God. shipped. It has. Well, it comes all the way from Italy. It truly is Italian thread. So, slow boat. Slow boat. They might be rowing it. They might be rowing the boat. <laughs> yeah. Shall we start? Let's do it. Everybody Pretty ready excited. for fabric sale? Get yes. ready. What are the rules on the fabric sale? How much do we have? Percentages? Okay, so they... minimum of one yard, maximum of, I think A they're bolt? 15 yard bolts. So, Actually, um, they're 10. 10? Some uh -huh. are 10, some are 15. Um, comment make it mine the number that we tell you it's also on a little post-it note so um, and how many yards you would like let us know whether you want to ship or pick up and that's that's it and it's we decided we're going to do 21 percent off oh 21 up and me by one I see all right all right <laughs> we overruled you I know <laughs> great we didn't really he's a push hour <laughs> that's good to know 
Alright, well we're gonna so, get situated here. So we can let me get my so camera cool. and my strings. Get and, Vanna Sue over here. Vanna Sue and Vanna, Vanna Joan. <laughs> you can maybe turn and go that way, can you? Well your feet are in the way. I know. They're like <laughs> clown feet. <laughs> He's not kidding. Okay, what number are we? We're number five. Number this five. Is, I don't know what this is. This was um, it's um, out of the. Uh, <laughs> see again, you know when you the put words colors just in, in water and oil. What is that? In they it? don't mix. Yeah. Yeah. Like Watercolors. No, it was part of a collection that we had. It's called Moody Blue Bloom. Mo Moody, Moody Bloom. Bloom. And who's the designer? Um, it's Moda Fabric. So all these are Moda? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All of this is Moda Fabric. So number five. Number five is really cool watercolor kind of effect. Moody Bloom. Moody Bloom. And the next one is this peach and coral and pink version of it. It is number six. Comment, Number make it mine. Six. How many yards you'd like of it? And it's this is called Moody Bloom too. Yeah. It's Moody Bloom. It's Moody. And I think okay. that was the last of it. That's nope. There's one more bolt of this that's buried, but I wanted to mix it up. Okay. So like I said, this looks like it's K facet. It's not. This is the designer. Carol Crystal Manning. So number twelve. Number twelve. Peacocks. Peacocks. I really this like really this on pretty. here. Adventure is worthwhile. Of course. Agreed. It is. Hi Troy. Yeah. These are twenty five percent of what? Twenty. Oh, good yeah, question. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> What's the price? They are twelve ninety nine. So twenty one percent off of that would be a dollar. Minus 273. Chloe's doing math now. Well, they've probably already cents. done it. <laughs> $10.26. I love this. I could see a tank top out of this. Number three. Number three. I'm already anticipating summer. If you can't tell. Yeah, yeah as soon as January gets here, I'm like, okay, spring's right around the corner. This is number Hi, Nina. 13. Look at that Hi, Jennifer. with this fuchsia. This number 13. Number 13. Got paisley and flowers. Mm -hmm. It's a really rich teal. You know what? They do look a little bit like tulip pink fabrics. Somebody said that. Number 14. And they feel very silky. They do. It's very really soft. Okay. Yep. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> whoopee. It's a whoopee. It's Hi, a whoopee. Donna. <laughs> Mr. Mom. What a great what? movie. There, my humor's coming out. All right. <laughs> we can do it. We can move this way. It's easier. Uh, you know. Okay. Well, just we can gives them a way. straight on shot of the fabrics. Okay. Great color. There we go. Number yeah, really cool. 11. 11. Oh, this goes with just peach and reds and corals and golds and oh my. Oh, this one doesn't have a number. It did. It's number, it? number. Wherefore art thou number? Okay, it'll be number 19. Number 19. Number 19. Is that really cool? It's, it's a the peacocks. peacocks, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Rachel. Oh, this one is fun. This is number two. Number two, yeah. Let's get a shot of it there. Number this two. This goes with every color of the rainbow. I love that one. You got some of this, I didn't did. you? I did. What are you going to make? It hasn't talked to me yet. It's got to visit with so many other fabrics and in my call stash. out some creativity. And, yeah, gotcha. You betcha. Some intermingling like uh -huh. the socks in the dryer. Yep. This one I think is my favorite. This is number seven. 
Number seven. It's really cool. It is really cool. My walls are almost that color. It's kind of like a watercolor. <laughs> and this is one. Shopping this must from have your been, sewing room. This must have been a back order on something we had. This is number one. Yeah, it's really... uh, black on cream. Mm -hmm. This is from Betsy Church. Follow your heart, bitter root. And Betsy, I can't read it. Churchin? It almost looked like chicken to me, but I don't think so. C H U T C H I A N. Hi, Sandy. Churchin. Churchin. You just hopped in in the middle of a fabric sale, and Very cool. of course, it'll still be out there. So 21% off. 21% off, which makes it 1026 a yard. Okay. This um, is looking more k facety. Yep. Number eight. Number eight. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's real pretty. And the repeat is real short on this one, too. And then it's just make it mine and how many yards you want. And if one you want us to minimum. ship it for pickup. One yard minimum. One yard minimum. This is number 15. Great 15, flowers. okay. They're not too big, too. Mm -hmm. So you could use this as a border or in a patchwork block, too. Sometimes when you get floral prints, the prints are so big, you can't. Yeah. They disappear, but this one is perfect. Number 15. Yep, Sharon, we'll bring it to you if you want that. If is someone, she in Hawaii? Sharon <laughs> Blizzard. She's oh. in Springfield. Okay. Let's see how this. No, we can't. We're going tomorrow. We won't have time to, to do it. No. Sorry. Well, if she takes the whole bolt. <laughs> Sharon, if you take the whole bolt. <laughs> if somebody break. wasn't ahead of you. Yep. Number four. This is a great print. Yeah. It's not quite an animal print. It looks animal. Purr. <laughs> Purr. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Mary. Have to be more grr. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. I love the way this yellow yeah, just really... brightens up. And... Well, and it has a little, like, out of... Mm -hmm. That other word. <laughs> so they had a. Oh, it's contagious. Oh, sweetie, I've been doing this a long time. They have a question for you. For me? Mm hmm. They said, when you just go buying fabrics and you haven't come up with a plan yet, how do you buy? How much? No. Or how, how? do you buy? Do you just buy because you want to buy? Well, think usually if I see it, it'll talk to me that it has to come home with oh, me. Oh, how so much does she buy? How much does she buy? Marilyn asked me that all the time. How much do you know to buy? I said, well, when I was in Colorado and two hours from a quilt shop, I would buy anywhere from a yard to three yards because I didn't have quick access. Now it's kind of between a quarter and a yard, yard and a half. I but think I'm, it, yeah. What I'm finding out is projects that I started being off for a little bit. I don't have enough fabric oh, to no. do borders or backing, uh, but borders especially. I know, isn't that horrendous? It's tragic. It is. I so, think it really depends on the size of quilt that you make. So I have been in the habit of making ginormous quilts. So I would always buy three yards because uh, the quilts that I make are larger and they're anywhere from six to seven yards of fabric once you cut them up in a little bitty pieces and sew them back together, which seems ridiculous when you say it out loud, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so I would usually buy three yards unless it really spoke to me, and then I would buy sometimes the do five. <laughs> so, you know, I could always use it for back or borders or something like that. But if you buy... If you make large quilts, three yards is a nice size because you can always pair it up with a couple of other fabrics. If you make small quilts, get a yard. If you make wall quilts, get half yard. So it really depends on the size of quilt that you make, how much you buy. 
because I know I have these fabrics in my collection and I can't bear to cut them up yet. <laughs> That's the way I am with K Fass. I can't, I've got a lot of his stuff, you know, jelly rolls or yardage or whatever, and I can't cut it. I just, it just won't can't let bring me. Just yourself to do it. So then just make a panel out of it. Ooh, there you yeah. go. Wall art. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, moving Fair on not. with the fabric. Sorry, show. rabbit hole. Sorry. That one was number nine. Oh, this I is know. Oh, this one's really cool, yeah. What do we got? What this number is, is number this? Seventeen. Num number seventeen. Oh, there's so much going on. There's yeah, see there's the tulipine. He did the moths. Oh yeah. So you could probably pair That's this it. with some of her fabrics. Yeah, these two are the same the color family roses you got um mums so much going on this cool background print yep this almost looks like a moth i think it is it's not a butterfly he's got some is that the some whole tails repeat? i think there's more to the repeat oh here's a butterfly there it is there's the repeat Mm -hmm. I like this yeah, little that, element. That's cool. Save some for me. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, Sorry. Oh, really okay, too. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what number is this? This is number 18. 18. It's the same print. Same print. In a different color. Different color. A lot of stuff going on in this. This is amazing. Borders and this would just be wonderful. <laughs> So with busy fabrics, maybe a little more on the borders and stuff. Yep. And this one is number ten. ten. And I like this bright I do too. kind of I like the little splash of yellow. It's kind of a mustardy yellow, but it just wow, it just pops mm -hmm. in it. A couple of viewers have said that's a Luna moth. Mm, a Luna moth. That sounds right. That's They're that so collection. Smart. They're so smart. They are. We have the best customers. We do. <laughs> can you show seven and eight again? If we can find them. <laughs> hmm. Here's seven. This is seven. seven. Oh, one of my favorites. Oh, with that border. Here's number seven. Eight's probably the other color of this watercolor. Six. One yard, five, Kathy. Seven and eight. Twelve. Two. Thirteen. Fourteen. Seventeen. Love that. Eight. Here we go. Eight. Number eight. Oh yeah, those two go great. Yeah, look how well those go, yeah. and they're not part of the same collection, but yeah, they work. It's amazing they work when really you well. put things together next to each other and how there well. There are they... so many of these that yeah go just amazing, hmm. including this one that I liked. It yeah. Has every color in all of these. Mm-hmm. They are first come, first serve. First so come, first serve. And save some of that one for me. There won't be any. Okay. They're all gone. Okay. They're already all gone. So, well, thank you for joining us tonight. That Wait. is us. No, well, we have a giveaway. We have a giveaway. And also, we still have shirts left. So, we want to do the next print. Yep. So. If you want a shirt. Where are they? They're over here. Yeah. So we do have shirts for the show. Um, I don't know what show number this is, but it's got to be a hundred. We're close and, to a hundred, I think. Yeah, we got to be get, getting really close to a hundred. The so there's back. the blue, and then we have pink, which is the same on the front. I like Robert's this caterpillar is the here. Back okay. <laughs> of the pink and the blue, and yep. So we have those in all sizes. They were eighteen ninety nine. I think they're around that. Um, yep. 
so we want to go on to our next print because a lot of people have asked okay well you're going to get this print and this print so we're trying to design that next one but we would like to clear out I some of our we have any mediums. Mediums make it are, so uh, on short supply yeah if you want a medium comment we'll see if we can find one for you okay if not let us know if a large will work hmm? they so. don't shrink very much because i've washed both of mine the blue, however, will a bleed little. a little bit. So put a color catcher or Carbona in with your wash, and that'll help. Okay, here it is. Here's our giveaway. It's a magnet. You saw it hanging on the thing earlier. So make sure you've commented, because um, there's no way for us to get our giveaway to you if Unless you're not registered you, on yep. Make It So. Make It So. I love fabric. We'll have a and we're sad when they don't get their gift. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we mess it up too. Yeah, Eventually we, we get it there. We have. We have in the past. We're yeah. trying to be better about it. We are. New year, new process. New year, new process. Carrie's got a spreadsheet now. All right. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Thank so, goodness for spreadsheets. I know. I wish I'd have invented that. I love fabric from so, Moda. It's a Moda magnet. They have the cutest little things. I don't know why, but there's actually numbers on the back of this. Limited edition? No, it's like 33, 34, 35, 36. Interesting. See? Can you see the back? There's numbers oh, on the yeah. back of Oh, it. wow. That's interesting. Why would they have numbers on the back, Robert? I do not know. It's kind of like a tile, isn't it? It is a tile. Hmm. I don't know. Cecilia Cater, C A T E R. I probably pronounced that Congrats, wrong. Cecilia. Congratulations, Cecilia. Make sure you go out and yep. register and make it so if you're not already a customer. Yep. So go to one of the websites so we can ship, ship this, this to, to you. You. Yeah. you should do it now. Don't forget. QuiltersHQ.com. Go there. Just register. Type in your Our information. Common. And we will get it to you. So if you go back and watch this later, you can still comment all the way up until tomorrow morning. And that's when Carrie starts processing orders. It takes us about a day to get through them. You may be late, depending on how much is here. So yeah. how much so is sold? It, it sounds like a lot of it got sold. So um, wait for your invoice to come. Even if you're picking it up in the store, wait till you get an email. Um, with your invoice attached. That way you know it's ready. Uh, so Doris asked, do we have layer cakes and fat quarter bundles? We did not get layer cakes or well, we might we have, have got we might have gotten layer cakes in this. I don't know. This was the complete collection of that fabric and it's not a forty yard or it's not a forty two color way of Fabric, so they may not have done pre cuts of this. So, but if we do get them, I'll let you guys know first. Yeah. Okay. So, but I haven't, haven't seen any come in. So, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. 2021. Happy New Year. And yes. how do we send off the show, ladies? Make, Make it, it so. so. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.